This looks like a typical job site in Brampton, but no one is working. You won't meet the schedule now. Dean Zaperi owns a construction company that prepares sites for building, a job that has been a lot harder to do because of the ongoing job action by the Ontario Dump Truck Association. 60% of Zetra's projects are now behind schedule. We've been hiring brokers for years. That's our business. So, um, you know, there's times when you can hire 10, 15 a day, up to 40 or 50 a day. The association's 1,500 members are striking. Their dump trucks parked here in this nondescript parking lot in Mississauga. Drivers are looking for increased wages in addition to safety and labor concerns being addressed. Price of maintenance has gone up 40%. Uh, the price of, of, of labor has gone up 25%. Uh, everything's just increased. We're not asking for, for extra. We're saying just give us what we need. Tensions on the picket line have risen. A truck driver trying to cross the line stabbed a picketer at a job site in Vaughan last week. A 33-year-old man has been charged with attempted murder. That man arrested was hired by Zetra through a third party. At the end of the day, everyone's human here. We all need to respect one another and we just want to have the same pen to paper agreements that other groups have had in the past. We're in the same boat. We're not going to, you know, we're not going to threaten anybody or uh, stuff. We need these guys. We work together on a daily basis. Until then, construction projects like this one will remain on hold. I just hope that we can come to some kind of an agreement where everyone is happy and this industry goes back to work. Meanwhile, the protester who was stabbed on the picket line is expected to make a full recovery. He remains in hospital. Tracy Shalima, back to you on the desk.